Never shuffle a deck, one in each hand. It makes the other players nervous. Richard Turner. He's the most gifted card mechanic the world has ever known, and he's legally blind, but only in his eyes. Is this your card? Uh, no. It all comes down to Richard's brain. Now, no matter how hard we've tried to forget about Ben Affleck's Daredevil, not the bad guy. We're all familiar with the concept that as one sense goes, your others are somehow heightened. So his hands are just 10 times more sensitive, right? Well, not exactly. And that's the thing that's baffled neuroscientists about Richard for so many years. There's more than just a heightened sense of touch happening here. Cards should all feel the same. The Queen of Clubs and the Two of Spades should have no difference. And while it's true that the parts of Richard's brain associated with touch and hearing are heightened. John, give me number between 10 and 20. 15. 15 cards, count them. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Something else amazing is happening. Now we could assume that the parts of Richard's brain involved with ingesting visual stimuli have an out of order sign hanging from them and his auditory region and motor cortex grow. But according to a study in Nature Reviews Neuroscience, Richard's occipital lobe doesn't go out of business. The visual parts of his brain get repurposed for new skills. According to neuroplasticity imaging in blind patients, the occipital visual cortex gets recruited by other parts of the brain to help with tactile discrimination, auditory localization, and verbal memory. Richard Turner can run his finger across a deck of cards and tell you exactly how many he's holding. But then again, so can I. 52. 49. This is known as cross-modal neuroplasticity. And it doesn't happen magically or when radioactivity is sprayed on you, Ben. And some areas of the brain are less malleable. But rewiring can occur through practice and experience. According to people who know Richard, he is a man who deeply understands intensive practice. For seven years, he performed 37 shows a week. He worked 2,180 days in a row without skipping a single one. He regularly spends 10 to 20 hours a day with cards in his hand. And that's the exact kind of practice that is required to rewire your brain. Through an unparalleled work ethic and a little cross-modal neuroplasticity, Turner doesn't have zero eyes, he's got 10. And he uses them to perform feats of touch sensitivity so fake, you'd swear you were watching Daredevil with Ben Affleck. He is truly the king of cards. It's a 10. Out of 10, right? Yeah, there's gotta be a king here.